For more than 200 years of American history, no former president has faced criminal charges. But history took a sharp turn this year. Donald Trump, a name synonymous with controversy, has been indicted thrice in four months and finds himself entangled in legal quicksand. With 78 counts spanning in multiple states, let's delve into the details of the cases against him. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing. More than two and a half years after Trump supporters stormed the US Capitol, the former president has been criminally charged for trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. The 45-page indictment contains four counts. Conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an attempt to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. The men and women of law enforcement who defended the U.S. Capitol on January 6th are heroes. Trump has pleaded guilty and calls the charges a bit to stop him from reclaiming the White House. The fake charges put forth by the Biden sham, we call it a sham indictment, and the, you know, the man that's doing it, I really believe he's uh, mentally ill. But this, these are outrageous, and it is an outrageous criminalization of political speech. They're trying to make it illegal to question the results of an election. By the way, you have to see the pundits, even pundits that hate me with a passion, very liberal, very far left, they're saying, you can't do that. You're not going to have anything left. But only a party that cheats at elections would make it illegal to question those elections. That's the only ones that would really make it difficult. If you can't challenge a rigged election, think of it. We're not looking to do it. We want, you know, they don't go after the people that rigged the election. They go after the people that want to find out what the hell happened. It's a disgrace. They should be going after the people that rigged it. Trump is facing 40 criminal charges for allegedly mishandling classified documents. When the FBI searched Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida, they found hundreds of documents that were marked as classified. The charges relate to his handling of the documents, as well as efforts to obstruct the FBI from retrieving the papers. A superseding indictment added three more charges and accused Trump of plotting to destroy incriminating security footage. Trump has once again pleaded not guilty to all charges, and the trial is set to begin in May 2024. I want to address the appalling announcement today by the egregiously corrupt the Biden administration and their weaponized Department of Justice. Would you like me to talk about that? Larry, would you like me to talk about that? This horrendous abuse of power is the latest in a long series of witch hunts. I started a long time ago. I thought the investigation with the document hoax was dying or dead or over. And the investigation into January 6th in my very peaceful and patriotic speech, remember? peaceful and patriotically, was dead, especially after the record-setting 40-point loss of Liz Cheney in the great state of Wyoming. I thought it was dead. I thought that put the final nail in the coffin, only to find out that the corrupt and highly political Justice Department just appointed a super-radical left special counsel, better referred to as a special prosecutor, to start the process all over again. The first charges brought against Trump emerged in March, when a grand jury convened by Manhattan's district attorney indicted him for the very first time. 
Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts, accusing him of falsifying business records concerning a payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, made a payment of $130,000 to Daniels to buy her silence before the 2016 election about a sexual encounter she said she had with Trump. While such a payment is not illegal, spending money to help a presidential campaign but not disclosing it violates federal campaign finance law. Trump is due to stand trial in the case in March 2024. The Georgia election interference investigation focuses on attempts by Trump to allegedly overturn the 2020 presidential election results in Georgia. Despite multiple recounts affirming Joe Biden's win, Trump and his supporters alleged voter fraud. The crux of the investigation is a phone call between Trump and Georgia's chief elections officer, in which the former president suggested local officials could find more than 11,000 votes. The potential charges include solicitation of election fraud, making false statements to government officials and racketeering. Once again, Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has accused the Fulton County District Attorney of launching a politically motivated inquiry against him.